Hello everybody and welcome back to 7 Days to Die in Alpha 19. My name's Wayne and we're just starting day 7 of our agility playthrough. Later on today will be Horde Night, so we've got some work to do because we haven't got any kind of Horde base set up yet. So that's what we're mainly going to be concentrating on today. Uh, first of all, we're just going to check see if we've got any skill points to assign. We've got one, so let's have a look in agility. Because it's Horde Knight, we're going to put one into Gunslinger, put it in Pea Shooter, because we have got a pistol, which will be our main weapon this evening if our knife work isn't sufficient. So level one for Gunslinger is Pea Shooter. You're no wire erp, but you're better than the average drifter. Craft quality two, poor handguns, deal 10% more damage, 5% faster fire rate, and 10% faster reload with handguns. And also unlocks pistol crafting. We're going to buy that one. Okay, let's check in the forge, see what we've got going on in there. Quite a bit of iron. I think we will make some more iron arrowheads. We don't need that many, so let's make a hundred. Okay. And then the rest of it, or we'll make a good a good amount of forged iron. Let's make another 50. How much wood do we have? Not a lot. So I'm going to go ahead and cut down some trees. And then we'll be on the lookout for somewhere to have our horde base. We can make some bacon and eggs when we get back home. Alright, lovely. And there's another skill point, so we'll go ahead and repair our axe. And the skill point we are again going to put into uh, Gunslinger. Outlaw gives us craft quality 3, fair handguns, deal 20% more damage, 10% faster fire rate, and reload 15% faster with handguns. That will come in handy for tonight. So we need to find somewhere to run the Horde Knight tonight. We don't want to be too far away from our base really, but also we don't want to be directly on top of it just in case something spawns in our base. Ooh, that's nice. We'll get rid of that. Uh, we don't need the stone shovel, but we will swap out the level 6 stone axe for our level 4. That's nice, and we'll go ahead and repair it. Right, let's plant these trees while we're uh, in the area anyway. Okay, I think for this evening we're just going to use this wall here. For the first Horde Knights I quite like using the walls. They, uh, they're they easy enough to make into a Horde base.
Okay, let's just run back and have something to eat because uh, our stamina is going down quite badly. Just cooking up some bacon and eggs, and an airdrop's just gone over, and it's over in that direction. Reasonably far away, I think, so we might have to leave that for later. Right, go ahead and eat the bacon and eggs. And we need some drink. So we'll have a yucca, and then we'll top up with... Uh, just regular boiled water. Take those iron arrow heads and we'll make some iron arrows out of that. Alright, so we've got some sellables, so we'll go and see the trader. What do you need? Oh, we don't have a job with him. Uh, we'll take a buried supplies. But we probably won't do it anytime soon. Coffee seed recipe. Mm, you've got quite a few recipes. Well, let's check your secret stash first. Urban combat volume three. Sneaking over trash makes no sound. That's a good one. Take the bullet tips. Take the bullet casings. We might come back for the advanced bellows at some point. You've got no cobblestone. That's disappointing. so bad after all let's head back to the hold base some bars. Five. And then we'll need a door. And some hatches. Oh, we haven't got anywhere near enough. Okay. So we'll go get some more iron and we'll do that in a minute. So we'll run back to the other trader and see what things they've got in stock. Hoping for some cobblestone. How did I miss this car? It's right in front of the old trader. Well, that was a wasted trip. I wonder if there's some cobble in here.
I can see you. <laughs> okay, all useless, but never mind. It's worth a try. So we're going to take away, uh, take apart the cars because we don't want them blowing up if the zombies beat on them during the night. Okay, that's the end of that wrench that I'll do for when we make our workbench. Let's run back to the house, load up for Horde Night, and then get back to it. We'll take the repair kits. Okay, so weapons, we'll take all of these, because why not? We haven't got anything to use that on, although we may loot something, so we'll take them with us anyway. Same with the shotgun ammo. Okay, anything in there we need? We need the iron. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and eat some of the sham. We'll take a linen elixir. Uh, we'll take some vitamins. We'll take some honey just in case. And some aloe cream. Let's make four iron hatches. And let's head back. What have we got ammo wise? 435. That should be plenty. Okay, so we've got an hour left. Let's get these hatches down. Yep, thought that was the right way, so that's good. Okay. And we're going to put plates up the top because uh, dogs and crawlers can still get through a one high gap, or size one gap. So we're going to put those up there stop that so we'll go on face there's the bit we can see through to take care of any vultures that might come let's upgrade the hatches Okay, so we've turned down the volume for Horde Night. And here we go. Oh, I better put these down here actually. We fix that and then back to it.
stop dodging. Thinks he's Neo, this guy. I think he's stuck in the... Uh... Yeah, there they are. Okay. Still somewhere, ah, right all the way down there. Okay, is that everybody? Let's have a quick look. Yep, yeah, I think that's everybody. No, there's still some around here, right, okay. Right, I do believe that that is the end of the Horde Knight. Ok, 
Okay. Alright, well, it didn't look like much, and it wasn't much, but it worked. Okay, Let's, oh, we did get all the uh, the loot. Yes, we did. All right, that's everything. So let's head back. Yeah, we'll eat the miso soup. We'll eat the chicken soup. Okay, we'll put those down there for now. No, we don't need all those painkillers. Ooh, I've just realised I've still got a mod on there that increases your inventory. I don't think I'm going to take it off on this one now, so we're just going to have to deal with that. and leave it as it is for now, but I'll take it off for the next playthrough. Okay, let's get some more iron. Alright, and there's the sound of the morning. So that's Horde Night done, our first Horde Night. Didn't go particularly badly, I thought it was alright. Oh, apart from when you fall down the stairs in your own home, but there you go. So yeah, we picked up 737 iron on that little mining trip, so we'll pop that in there. So today we've got a buried supplies to do, we'll knock that out quickly. Uh, we might go and get that airdrop, and uh, we'll see what other jobs the trader's got. So I'm going to leave this one here. If you like the episode, please press the like button. If you'd like to see more, please subscribe. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.